Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the closing ceremony of the D71 UK and Ireland Conference 2021. Yay, we made it. Final half an hour before the party begins to a successful conference. But as always, just a few ground rules before we start this afternoon's session. Please consider we are going to be live online. Please ensure that you're on mute at all times unless you're speaking. If you need to leave the room or if there's a noise or interruption in your room, please turn off your video. I would ask everyone to be conscious of their movements. You may not notice them when you're fidgeting, but others do notice. And it can be very distracting to our speakers. If using a mobile phone device, please put it on a stable surface so you're not moving around. Please kindly refrain from using backgrounds that are constantly moving. Be aware that you are on camera and try to avoid doing other tasks, for example, checking emails or checking your mobile phone while on camera. Most importantly, enjoy the event and listen to our wonderful speakers this afternoon. At this point, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our district director, Gerard Mannix. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're all surviving the last, I suppose it's nearly 48, if not more hours, 60 hours that we've had spent together. Uh, what a tremendous occasion it has been. Uh, we've had excellent keynote speakers, excellent workshops, contests with fabulous presentations, and also the business meeting, which happened on Saturday morning. I must really compliment the organizers that have put tireless hours into all this effort um, so that that memory will be there in recorded sessions also, which will be available. So anytime you want to pop in to feel what happened or recap what went on or recount club members that did a presentation, et cetera, they're there and available. What else can I say with regard to this? We had a fantastic in induction ceremony on Saturday night uh, with Lark Dooley. I think that was exemplary. I think it was an example to us that we could feed that right down the line into club members, club officers, area directors, division directors, and also our DLT members into the future with regard to the responsibility and what is required of us in our promise. Fulfill the promise. Well, if you even want one part of it fulfill, if you were at this conference, you did a lot for yourself. Whether it then gave you the promise that you were expecting, I'm sure that it well filled that bucket. Now, I'm delighted to say that I would like to hand over to whoever is going to succeed me now, Venet, please, over to you. And thank all the organizers at this stage in time, the Zoom people especially, those in different roles within it, and especially the participants, the contestants, those who presented different keynote speak speeches and workshops. You did an excellent job. I say it, thank you so much. Over to you, Venet. And at this point, Thank you very much, Gerard. And at this point, I would like to invite our incoming district director, Daniel Sanders. Thank you very much, Jeanette. I'd like to, can you see my slide? Yeah, thank yes. you. Yes. That's one of the classic quotes of being on Zoom. Can you see my slug? Can you hear me? Well, it gives me great pleasure to have um, taken over the, the role of makeshift conference director in many ways. We had to rebuild this conference from scratch after Toastmasters International made the changes in the rules of our online contests and online business meetings. I've put, had to pull together a vast team and I have to thank them all. I really do, they're a phenomenal team. 
if, let's, let's sort of rattle down the list. We have the ex, two excellent district chief judges in Anthony Garvey and, and Tina Norbury. So thank you very much. It's been a wonderful year working with you. We had four absolutely fabulous contest organizers. Don't you agree? Let's, don't we? Let's hear it for them, really. Let's hear it for Will Feet, Michael May, Binette Hoffman Jackson, and Therese Kinahan. Let's hear it from them. They really did, did the district proud on the international stage. I'd like to thank parliamentarian Larry Lyons, credentials chair Pauline McCabe, and the super hot election runner Geroid Murphy for delivering a really good world class business meeting. I think it all went off to a T. Thank you. We've had fantastic support this year, throughout the year, from our education chair, Danny Banks, and he and I worked tirelessly to build the education programme for this conference, and I hope most of those choices, all of those choices were truly fantastic. I enjoyed all of the sessions I went to. Elizabeth Jordan has been a sterling PR chair, and I'd really like to thank her team, Supernet, was a fantastic Hoover social interaction manager. And also I've got to credit James Ferguson, Bob Ferguson, uh, James Finnegan and Anne McFarland, who've really worked behind the scenes to help really make this a, a very impactful conference. We, sold, we placed over a thousand tickets. That's incredible. Howard Balkan, finance chair, wonderful. Really need that support. And Eileen O'Neill, didn't you put together a fantastic raffle? We've earned over 1,000 250 odd towards these uh, conference fees. That's really, truly awesome. So thank you very much. And of course, thank you to all the donors. Entertainment's chair, Vibe Abhadira. I mean, this guy really brings the zest of life to living. I'd like to thank Vicky Lester for putting the one area, one district meeting together. That was a real eye opener for me. And that was a fantastic way to join the district on the eve of the conference, the great coming together into a single event. Wonderful. Anita Howard, what a fantastic job you did with Open Mic, drawing together all of those pieces of talent and with the support of Ted Corcoran and David Phillips, a wonderful session to be part of. I didn't get into Jessica Brightonfield's drinking party games, but I really will try next time. That looks wonderful. And after party, DJ Nick Carney, well, they had me dancing and I was all over the place last night. That was fantastic. MC Chair Steve Campion, wonderful job. You've really helped keep this a tight ship. Thank you. Zoom Academy, Liz, Liz Welch coordinating for us. Binal Sojani and Sarinka Janga really helping hold the Zoom team together. Fantastic this weekend. Hoover Master, Eileen Wynn, she's really worked hard behind the scene to help us understand the technology of the platform and solve many of the wrinkles that we've had with it. Fantastic work, Eileen. And I really hope next year you do get to dance with um, Cecil Kirk. That's one of your to-dos at Galway. Audiovisual streaming, Moira O'Brien has done a wonderful job helping to keep the audiovisuals to together. I really appreciate and respect all of the technical skills she has. And finally, it wouldn't have been possible without the solid support of our project managers, Nigel Smith and Adele Doda. Thank you, one and all. And some of those gifts in the top right might be in the post. Thank you, handing back. Thank you very much, Daniel. At this point, I turn back over to Jared. Thank you very much indeed, Vanessa. And I presume that Daniel now has appreciated and acknowledged all those who have participated in this 2021 conference. So I assume it's reasonable time to welcome and hopefully, 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 hopefully we'll be in person for the next conference, which will be happening in Galway in May 2022. So is it appropriate that I hand over to those, Vinette, now? Uh, Gerard, just a moment before we get there. I know you're excited to meet in person, as we all are. <laughs> but at this moment, I'd like to give the floor over to Daniel again to introduce his team for next year. Thank you very much, Vinette. If I could ask the... 
asked the Zoom master to spotlight the incoming district leadership team, please. And whilst that's happening, let me take you on a journey. Let's look at a vision going 12 months forward until we are at that Galway conference, the Corrib conference. What do, you, what do you see? What do you smell? What do you feel? Do you feel, do you feel warmth? Do you feel passion? Do you feel laughter? Do you see the sea? Do you see the beautiful landscape? What do you feel? Do you feel happy? What do you, what do you taste? Do you taste Guinness? Do you taste whiskey? Do you taste seafood? What do you hear? Do you hear laughter? Do you hear splashing waves? Do you hear great speakers? It's all very much what we can look forward to in our, our year ahead. And the district leadership teams gradually assembling around you, around me as well. So I'll just take a moment to, to, offer, to introduce them all properly. So incoming Programme Quality Director, please give Brenda Lanner a round of applause. I think Daniel has frozen. So would Brenda like to take over and start introducing the team until he gets back on? Will do, thank you, Vanette. The District 71 Incoming Club Growth Director, please welcome Elizabeth Jordan. Our incoming District 71 Public Relations Manager, James Herford. Our incoming District 71 Finance Manager, Eileen O'Neill. And our District 71 Administration Manager, Steve Campion. I'd also like to recognize Jared Mannix, who will be the immediate past District Director for 2021-22. Looking forward to a great year working with you all. And I hand now back to Vanessa. Thank you very much. And of course, when Daniel comes back, we'll put our hands together and welcome our incoming district director for 2021 2022. At this point, what we need to do is think about parting face to face. Do you remember those days when we could actually touch each other, shake hands, and drop it on the dance floor? Well, to bring back that excitement, let me introduce Martin Foran to tell us all about Galway 2022. Martin. Thank you very much, Finesse. Yes, indeed, my brother-in-law and his wife have a great habit. Every year after their holidays, the very, very first thing they do is book their next holidays. This year, uh, as well as giving thanks and appreciating a wonderful conference we've had this year and congratulating all those who've taken part and all those who've been successful, those who've given workshops, it's also good to look forward. And here in Galway, we're particularly looking forward to welcoming you to Galway for the Galway 2022 conference. Can you all see my slides as Daniel said earlier? Okay, so I would like to welcome you all to the Galway 2022 conference, the CARB conference, where the theme is to meet your tribe. This past 15 months, we've spent so much time apart. It's time, please God, to come together again. Obviously, this is all dependent on public health advice, but we are planning for a party in 2022. And there's nowhere better to have a party in the West of Ireland. And I know I'm not even from the West of Ireland, I'm just a blow in but it's a wonderful, wonderful place. And we're looking forward to workshops, keynote speakers, contests, but most importantly, to having you with us. 
As I said already, the conference comes to Galway in May 2022. The dates scheduled in are the 20th to the 22nd. That's the Friday to the Sunday. The venue will be the Galmont Hotel. And we're hoping that you will come and meet your tribe. The venue at the Galmont Hotel is fantastic. As I said at the district council meeting yesterday, the only way we could possibly get closer to the city centre in Galway was to pitch a tent on Air Square. We've done the next best thing. We've moved to luxury accommodation in the Galmont Hotel, where they have loads of room to accommodate all the activities we will be up to for the three days, actually more than three days, that we'll be together. We're planning to give you a welcome that involves food, entertainment, great company, and most importantly, the conferences you've come to know and love. So before I even move on, I want to put it out there to all of you. Go out, tell your clubs, tell your areas, tell your divisions, tell everyone you meet that Galway next year is the place to be this weekend next year. The conference location has a wonderful huge ballroom which can accommodate up to 600. So if we can cram 600 people in there, fantastic. I'm hoping we can. But the conference ballroom can be divided into three sections. So we have loads of room to accommodate any of the activities we will be having. We also have other suites where we can put the judges, pre-contest uh, briefings, all those things. Wonderful dining facilities, wonderful area, and most importantly, very close to the city centre. It's literally seven minutes walk from Galway's famous Air Square, which is at the heart of the city. Three minutes walk from the bus and train service, which again, helps you to get there. It's served by three major airports. Cork, we haven't listed here, but it's a little bit further away, but Dublin, Shannon, and Ireland West airports. It's also accessible by motorway on the M6, M6, M17, and M18. So Galway is well served with transport to get you here. And later on, you'll see on our website, we have loads of information of how you do it from wherever you are. So the conference outline, what are we going to be doing? Well, it's three days. We hope to have three keynote speakers. 12 workshops varying in length from 25 minutes up to maybe 55 minutes. Because sometimes you might want a short little burst of energy coming from a short workshop, or sometimes you want to immerse yourself in some new learning. We'll also obviously we'll have our 12 contests, our candidate showcase, the deck meeting, the district council meeting, and two nights of entertainment. But you can't go into too much detail, but I think people have been spoiled by mentioning Guinness, whiskey, dancing, and general carousing. I hope to We'll all enjoy our time there. In terms of tickets, we would have a variety of tickets for all who are interested. We'll have full weekend tickets. We'll have early bird offers. We'll also have a payment plan in place. Please God, we will also have day tickets, contest tickets, and even for those who just want to come along in the evening and join us for the entertainment there. So there should be something there for everybody. Again, as I said, go out, tell your clubs, tell your areas, tell your divisions to get themselves here this time next year. Our, you know, forgive me for looking at my watch here, our website is now a couple of minutes away from launching. We're going to launch at seven o'clock this evening. No sooner will this conference be over than we'll be moving on to the next one. Our website is galway2022.org. Nothing overly complicated there, easy to remember, tells you the location, tells you the year, all we're missing is the month and the day. So I'm now going to hand over to my colleague, Rob, who is going to take you through some further information. And I'll see you before we finish up. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. So I just need to share my screen and you will see there. This is how our website looks at the moment. If you go to it, you will see the countdown. We have just over eight and a half minutes before our website launches. I'm going to be really brief. It's just it's about the website I want to talk you through. So the first page, when it actually goes live, you'll see is this. This will take you, give you, and give you all the information you need. All the buttons you could ever want are there. There's a couple of important details that I want to tell you about. Martin and I appreciate that Galway on the West Coast, it's not exactly the easiest place to get to directly. But there are so many options to get here. We are served by three fantastic airports a train station that covers the whole of Ireland. So if you land at Dublin, you can come straight to us. But just to make sure that you find your way perfectly, we have created this page, which will tell you exactly how to get there. Now, just in case you decide to get here by hot air balloon, we even have that option. And in case you want to bring your horse, 
we have that option as well. There is everything is covered for you. Now, when you click on the tickets button, you will see this page at the moment. Once we have all our tickets confirmed, that page will go live and this will be where you book all your tickets. And as Martin said, there is a massive range of tickets from full weekend to single events, even down to just coming to one contest. Everything will be there on that page. Now, there's two important buttons on this menu that I want to talk to you about. The first button is this button, the news button. When you click on that, it will give you the information. It will tell you all the events that are coming up, all the new information that we have as it happens. But it's also going to give you tips, advice, experience from other Toastmasters. And that's you. So what I'd like is for you to take a look at the site and think to yourself, what is it about the conference you're looking forward to? Then write a small piece, email it in, and we can fire it up there. If you've got an inspirational story, if your club, your area, your division is holding a special event, let us know and we'll put it up here. Absolutely anything that will entertain, enjoy, or be interesting to your fellow Toastmasters, send it in. Now, the final button I want to show you is this one here, the workshop application button. When you click on that, it will take you to this page. We're planning on having 12 workshops. Some of those we already have planned, but we would love it if you, sitting at home, have some experience that you want to share with your fellow Toastmasters and think to yourself, do you know what? I could give a workshop on that. This weekend, we've seen four people win our four big contests. Each one of them could write an inspirational workshop about how to get to the position they're in now. So if you think you've got what it takes to bring a fantastic workshop to Galway, click on that button and fill in that application form. We would love to see you here. Finally, I'm now going to show a lovely little promotional video that we have done telling you all about what you can expect in May 2022. Twelve workshops. Three keynote speakers. Eight semi-finals. Four finals. In 2022, the West Coast of Ireland will be home to more than just the performers filling the streets with music and magic. The Toastmasters International District 71 Conference is coming to the City of Tribes. Kicking off on Friday morning and only breaking for tea and sleep, the conference will be a wonderful opportunity to take in a myriad of workshops on some amazing subjects that will enhance your Toastmasters journey. Join your fellow Toastmasters and watch the best of the best in any one of the eight semi-finals or the four finals. Hear from keynote speakers with stories to entertain and inspire. Enjoy the two entertaining evenings with music, food and great company. Relax in the enigmatic grace and stylish comfort of the Gourmet Hotel on the banks of Nocatolia. With the Anglo Irish Venice taking place on the Thursday night, hosted by the four clubs of Galway, there's even something for the early traveller. Set in the heart of the wild Atlantic Way, Galway has much to offer the travelling Toastmaster and their travelling companions. From a cornucopia of specialist food stores to an eclectic variety of live music on almost every corner in almost every bar. With a range of different options, from a full weekend to single event. There's a ticket to suit every Toastmaster. If you've never been to a conference before, why not break the ice by joining your fellow Toastmasters on the West Coast in 2022? So, come and join your fellow leaders in Galway for a Toastmasters International District 71 conference in May 2022. Come and meet your tribe. Thank you. Thank you very much for that presentation, Rob. That is getting me excited for 2022, something to look forward to. At oh this point, God. I would like to hand over to our incoming district director, Daniel Sanders. Thank you, Finette. And it's good to be back amongst you again after such a short break. Last night, I promised that I would like to lead a district where members flourished, they had fun and they fulfilled their potentials. They fulfilled that promise. But let's take that apart a little bit. 
Let's talk about flourishing. What do flourishing clubs look like to you? What does that experience feel like? What does that experience sound like? To me, it sounds like rooms full of passionate people, excited people, enthusiastic people, people that respect the Toastmasters promise, people that will turn out for the other person. They'll be there for the other person and will create a great community in that club to make that club an excellent, safe and flourishing space where our members can blossom like flowers. We can make those clubs like that. And when those clubs are like that, things change. We are thought to be our own best kept secret. But if we turn that around by creating flourishing clubs, flourishing for our members, don't we start to become that deep, deep, deep secret in your heart that you're bursting to tell the world. So let's burst forth onto the world with the passion, the energy and the enthusiasm that we have for our organization. Let's flourish. Fun. Well, Ralph Smedley said we should learn best in moments of fun. And that's really true. Where does fun come from? Doesn't it come from those childhood days where we play together, free from judgment, free from inner critics, free from everything. We were playing in a big open space of love. So let's have fun next year. Let's have really big fun in nice, open, loving environments. So my message there is let's have big fun. And in terms of fulfilling our promise, we're a great way forward if we do all of these things in terms of building self-esteem in terms of being our true authentic selves. But there's a secret again, and that is the secret garden of the Pathways program and out into the community. It is not just some baffling headache. It is a secret garden for exploration within the spirit of play and fun so that we can find those nuggets and opportunities within which we can build and take ourselves forward. So pick a cherry out from me and have a really good time scrumping your way through the educational opportunities that we can find by exploration and play. So next year, with my DLT behind me, I would really like to be in Galway. I would like to see the sounds of that success. I would like to hear the sounds of that success. I'd like to feel it, taste it, smell it. So with your help and with my district leadership, I need to, until we're having a pint of Guinness. Thank you. And in back, Bennett. Wow. That is what we like to hear from our leadership team. Fun, fun, fun <laughs> is on the agenda for next year. So it's fun and learning straightforward to Galway 2022. At this point, you know, we cannot have fun without some money. So this person is going to talk to us right now, Eileen O'Neill, our current district finance manager. Eileen, the stage is yours. Thank you very much, Vanessa. And thank you everybody in District 71 for purchasing tickets for the District 71 conference raffle. As Daniel said earlier, we had 1,250 sterling net. Now we deal in euros, so that's 1,400 euros. And together with our sponsors, that's 2,000 euros that we have raised towards the cost of the conference, which means that we're virtually there in breaking even, which is what we need to do for District 71 rules. So thank you, thank you, everybody. The raffle was run by Rafal, a professional raffle company, and the draw was made at 7.30 this morning for the 38 prizes that our wonderful donors gave us. So we had not quite 38 because some people won two prizes, but almost 38 very happy people receiving an email this morning to let them know that they were the lucky winner of one of the prizes for the conference. What I would like to do now with you is share one, 
the names of those people who have made this happen, the people who have given a prize towards the raffle, the people who have sponsored our conference to make it happen and to help us to break even. Can I have the next slide, please? Thank you incredibly to our sponsors, DNG, Peter Murta, and Enterprise Ireland, who together have sponsored sessions such as the International Speech Contest, Humorous Speech Contest, and Table Topics Contest. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your support. Those people who donated raffle prizes, and we had a lot. Can I have the next slide, please? Look at this, guys. Look at all of these people who have come together to help this <laughs> conference break even. Jessica Breitenfeld, Philip Khan Pani, Pat Johnson, Craig Valentine and Les Brown, Manoj Vazudavan, Elizabeth Nostet, Kyle Murta, Myra O'Brien, Ted Corcoran, Press Vasilev, Jimmy Harahan, Cheryl Roosh, Vaiva Vadira, Christine Frey, Ian Finch, Kelly Swanson, Teresa Jukes, Simon Day, Connor Coneen, Ian Veneer, Howard Balkind, and Stuart Clark. You have so, made so many people happy this morning who have all received emails in one way or another telling them that they are about to be enthused by meeting each of you or receiving the prizes that you have put forward. Thank you so much from District 71. And finally, I'm going to share with you the three slides which show the winners. I'm not going to read out all of these winners, but you can just see for yourself the extent of the raffle and the wonderful generosity of these people who have given us support. So prizes one to 13, we had luxury hampers, we had coaching sessions, we had signed autograph books from people like Ted Corcoran. If we can move on to the next page, please. Other signed books, Philip Can Pani, these are going out in the post to those people who have won prizes. Look at the amount of prizes that Philip and Ted previously have put forward. We have books from Pat Johnson, people will be receiving signed books from Pat, how wonderful, and so on and so forth. A slot on talk show for talkers. Isn't that fantastic? Avril, you can look forward to that. And here we have our final slide with even more. It, it just keeps going on. Free enrollment on the legendary speaking course with Les Brown and Craig Valentine. All of those lucky winners are about to be put in touch with the people who can make it happen for them. So on behalf of District 71, thank you everybody for supporting the raffle and thank you everybody for donating prizes. We really, really appreciate it. Now I'm going to hand over to Sue, who's going to talk about the results of the gamification prizes. Sue. Thank you, Eileen and fellow Toastmasters. I am delighted that so many people participated in the gamification. We had two contests, one for the best photos, and we had a second contest for the best captions. So thank you for all of you that participated. So now, the moment you've been waiting for, we have some lucky winners. So if I can ask for the first slide, we have the first winner, uh, the runner, we'll go for the runner up first and then we'll have the winner. So please, could you share the next slide? So for the caption competition, Pauline McCabe, you are our lucky winner for the runner-up prize. That will be winging its way to you. And moving on to our big winner, Siobhan Fitzgerald. You are the winner for the 
caption contest. So thank you very much for your participation. So moving on to the photo contest. James, you are our runner up, so congratulations. And the big prize goes to Matilda Fisher. So well done and thank you so much for your participation. We enjoyed all of your slides and comments. Thank you very much. And I will now pass you back to Vinette, our contest host. Thank you very much, Sue. I'm so disappointed. Didn't win a prize this year, but maybe next year in Galway. It has been a fantastic, fantastic conference. And we're almost at the finish line. So at this point, it falls on me to hand over back to our current district director, just to give his last closing words and wish you all goodbye. Jared. Oh, I'm low to take on this virtual stage to close the thing off. You know, it, it is not the greatest of moments, but anyway, it's got to be done as they say. So um, it has been already expressed a great thank you to many people who organized during the whole couple of days, hours, weeks, et cetera, in organizing and bringing this conference together. I'm wholeheartedly looking forward to going to the city of tribes and that we'll meet our tribe in Galway next year. And with health authorities uh, giving us authority to do so and being a safe place, you'll be all more than welcome. Tell the members, tell the clubs, tell the areas, tell the divisions, and also our district leadership team. So Galway, we look forward to it. So presumably the best thing to do now is that we say thanks to everybody who attended and also to those who organized this conference. So. I bring the whole thing to close. It's not a virtual gavel. I really have a real gavel. I'm not going to break it right now, but I'm just going to tap it. This conference is now closed. Thank you, safe home, keep well. And we look forward to meeting again, either in education, contest, and at a conference next year. Thank you so much. <laughs>